What's going on y'all, what's going on, what's going on? Listen, I'm back with yet another video. For those of you who are already subscribed to me, welcome back, you already know what it is. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome. What you can find here are talks about hair, 4C hair specifically, maca root, how to maintain your weight, product reviews, skincare hacks, and how to glow the heck up in general, all right? Some of y'all might be looking at me like, whoa, what's going on with our skin right now? Right now I have on CMOS. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, yes, I truly believe that it helps with the skin and that's what I've been using it for. I haven't been consuming it lately. I've just been using it on my skin and I use it as a mask. The last portion that I made was actually a little more, uh, it was thinner. I made it thinner than usual. I added a lot of water and even still, this is the result okay when i put it on and when it dries as a mask i, I put some fresh sea moss right here because i have like two little dark marks i'm trying to get rid of my cycle is also on again uh so yeah had a little bit of hormonal acne here okay so i have sea moss on my face and literally i'm gonna keep this on for about 15 or so and then i will rinse it off and then I want this to dry completely here too. Everything here has dried, but as you can see, this is still wet because I literally just put some more on these two sections, okay? These two problem areas for me, areas of concern. Okay, so what we are going to be talking about is kojic acid soap. I have used both kojic acid soap and kojic sand acid soap, right? The kojic acid soap is the extra strength and you use it to get rid of dark marks. I've even seen that they get rid of brown spots, which you get as you age, so on and so forth. I have been slacking like a mug on the Kojic soap. Slacking like a mug. And I'm about to get back on it seriously because I thought this only happened in Florida, but no, mosquitoes have been attacking me here in Southern California. And they've been leaving marks on my arms and whatnot. I'm really annoyed because i would come to a point where I'd pretty much gotten rid of dark marks and whatnot with the mosquito bites and everything like that. I now have to go back in on getting rid of the dark marks. And Kojic soap is something that helps. However, helps me. However, as I've spoken about before, briefly, the thing about Kojic soap, it does have some things that you need to take. You need to take caution before using it. When you apply it, it's advised that you don't leave it on for too long. I would say longer than seven minutes. Why is that? Because you can actually cause hyperpigmentation to whatever area you're trying to smooth out or lighten. You can actually cause hyperpigmentation and cause that area to get even darker. And let me say this, I am not one who is trying to lighten my skin by any means. I actually really like my complexion. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I get a sun-kissed glow. You feel me? Melanin be popping. So I am not trying to be lighter skinned at all. I'm not, right? I'm literally trying to get rid of dark marks, blemishes, dark areas, and whatnot. With that being said, I left the Kojic acid soap on my elbow for too long, far too long. I've never really had an issue with um, my, my knees were always very, like, one tone. Like, they're, they weren't really dark. But I guess over time, the fact that I'm aging, and I haven't been exfoliating my knees like that. Before, I didn't need to. But I haven't been exfoli exfoliating my knees. They have gotten a bit darker. And for my elbows and my knees, I was trying to lighten them. However, I left the Kojic soap on my elbow a little too long. <laughs> and my elbow, in fact, got darker I don't know if you've probably noticed it or maybe not you know what you talking about my left elbow is darker than my right and I literally left it on this elbow for too long and I felt it start to kind of sting and whatnot thought nothing of it rinsed it off I probably didn't moisturize this area and leave enough sunscreen on it as well when stepping out into the Sun if I had my arms exposed you have to be very 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 careful when using it Okay, because 
you're if you're trying to lighten an area you don't want to then expose that area to the sun it's just like with the cream that I talked about often I talk about often in my videos you already know for those of you who know look at my skincare playlist for those of you who know you have to wear sunscreen when you use that that cream to prevent uh, first of all harmful rays and then to prevent your skin from getting damaged and for the areas to get darker again blemishes and whatnot you have to wear sunscreen I don't think that I've put on maybe as enough sunscreen on my arm and elbow specifically so anyway this is what my right elbow looks like now when I was little I was running I used to run like crazy and I fell and I think I was playing with my friends too it might have been a hide-and-seek or tag something like that whatever and I fell and I skid my elbow and it I have a scarf from that to this day right so this is what it's looking like now and I have put Kojic soap on there to lighten it now look at my left elbow you see how much darker that is this wasn't like that before I <laughs> left the Kojic soap on there it was actually more like this one see there this one is lighter than this one I'm so sad I ruined my elbow I don't want to say ruined it because I think I can get it to bounce back but I'm very sad that I made it darker because yeah that wasn't what I was trying to do I was trying to lighten my elbow right and there's a scar here too I don't know I'm, I don't know what happened here I think I must have fallen here too I honestly don't remember but yeah this has gotten considerably darker and it's due to the fact that I left the Kojic soap on too long this is what the Kojic soap looks like I got it off of Amazon I will leave the link in the description this does in fact work in getting an area to be lighter and getting rid of dark marks it does well it did for me it does for me and if you watch people talk about it they'll say it has worked for them too right but you do have to be very careful do not leave it on longer than seven minutes okay and moisturize the situation wherever you put it after moisturize your skin and use sunscreen on the area that you are exposing to the sun if you are cover up that area if you're stepping out into the sun do not do not just use it and then just be out there because you could very well damage your skin in that way okay sea moss is something that I absolutely swear by and this is what I do either in the morning sometimes at nighttime I leave it on overnight as well but yeah and check out my morning skincare and evening skincare routines if you want to just look at what I do in depth but yes I have this on now and I just wanted to say please be very very careful when using the Kojic soap or things can go left and you don't want that okay hyperpigmentation is a real real issue right and people think that because we have darker skin tones that our skin can just withstand everything I think that because of the melanin yeah you know it fights it fights aging things of that nature but you still want to be very 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 careful with your skin okay people trust me okay so I will be coming back with more videos just wanted to say that that is something that I use and I will be going in I haven't been a tip that my sister told me that actually also will help you greatly instead of going in the shower and then applying it when you know you're about to shower apply this to the dark areas whether it be under your arm your shoulders where you have marks put that on before you get into the shower so that when you get into the shower do it literally seven minutes before you go into the shower so that when you get into the shower you're literally just rinsing off where you've applied the kojic soap okay if you've tried it before let me know put it in the comments let me know uh how has it worked for you okay this or the kojic san acid soap or koji san acid soap let me know that is literally it but i will be coming back with more skincare videos just to show you the progress with the soap and with the sea moss okay because i'm gonna be back on both for real for real and y'all i can't believe it's almost the end of the year 
So again, whatever you have in mind, whatever ideas you have, put them out there now. I don't know what's to come of the future. I don't know what the future holds, but this is the time to get it. Put your ideas out there, just do it, okay? <laughs> let's go people, let's go, let's do this together, all right? So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And again, I will most definitely be back with more. Thanks for tuning in and I'll holla. Stay safe out there. Mm -hmm.